Bloomstick779. You may have seen a few videos of Bloomstick779 on his uncle's channel. It's Hamilton Outdoors. But uh, Nephew Boomstick779 seems to have a greater addiction to the Thunder Dinkies. And apparently, there's quite a bit of people who are interested in them also. So there are plenty of uploads to catch. An avid reader, Boomstick779, has a plethora of magazine reviews. And features common issues with the various handheld projectiles he collects and takes to the range. This channel has kind of a try-before-you-buy kind of feel, like like a window shopping of pew-pews. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? That thing looks like a little bird poo on an upside-down Lego. See? Boomstick779 isn't afraid of a little mess, and those are little. So if you want to know which way to accessorize... Your new outdoor sports equipment, or adult toys, or a kit car, or, or maybe find new ways to keep lead from leaching into the ground by watching a lot of loud storage containers, or maybe a, an extra loud game of Connect Four. <laughs> Boomstick779 is going to give you an honest opinion on all those gigantic, inedible pest dispensers you can stand because. He pretty much owns them all. Check him out. Cherry McKinstry, Garden Gal. Cherry McKinstry has a goal of creating a farming community that is intentional and self-sustaining and prepared. And it helps each other with skill sets and products grown, made, or collected. That's the dream. And if you're looking to create a similar setup, her channel is full of information on brushing up on your own homesteading, prepping, and survival tactics, as well as news that affects harvests and supplies in the future. Only interested in gardening or foraging? Cherry McKinstry has it covered here, too. She shows some of the food sources that she grows with little to no effort that will kind of stagger their harvest, so something's always available to eat. If you want to learn permaculture, foraging, and prepping tips, Cherry McKinstry has ideas for the small-scale survival startup in you. Dolores and Tony's channel. Dolores and Tony are carving out a homestead in an area most of the people below age 20 have never seen how food is grown. And being able to share the journey of homesteading with YouTube land and the local community is one of the joys, you know, of growing their own food. There have been some interesting goings-on with Dolores and Tony's channel, like the okra slime hair. <laughs> And, oh, there's a, a Mississippi Minority Farmers Association that they're active with. And they've been doing amazingly well with their bees. In fact, I think it's probably pronounced Mississippi Bee. <laughs> they've been showing the many, many ways they've learned to preserve food of all varieties. When you get over the shock of them dehydrating milk, you'll probably find a, a few twists at Food Preservation Network for you, too. They're able to eat what they grow and have some to spare. Oh, and they also collect seeds because they live out what the hashtag is, grow what you eat. So, you want to see what the formerly titled Chillahoma's Garden has been up to? That was their old name, so check out Dolores and Tony's channel. The Pew Pew Review... The Journey to Self-Sustained Survival, it's a tongue twister, and Mississippi's Grow What You Eat. Are these your people?